KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. The Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Thursday, the 29th of November. I'm James Spann. The weather warms up through the weekend. Stormy day on Saturday. The question is timing, and will we have the chance of severe storms on Saturday and then colder next week? Always interesting and busy this time of the year. So let's dive in and talk about it. There's the upper air look. It is a zonal flow across the southern states. Big uh, system coming into California. As expected, the skies become mostly cloudy across the state today, but not everywhere. we got a few breaks in the overcast, but it will be generally cloudy for the next few days. And it is warmer today. Uh, now, Fort Payne, they've still got 51, but look at Tuscaloosa. They've got 67, Birmingham at 64. We'll go back in the 60s tomorrow, and a good chance we see some 70s in here this weekend. We're expecting low 70s on Saturday and Sunday. And around the nation, temperatures continue to warm temporarily, but we go back in cold air next week. On the watch warning map, winter storm watches up for parts of Montana and the high plains. The southeast is quiet. But things begin to shake and bake tomorrow and tomorrow night. This is the day two severe weather outlook. We have an enhanced risk of severe storms for places like Dallas, Fort Worth, Shreveport, and Little Rock. The standard slight risk over at Interstate 55 in Mississippi and a marginal risk clipping the southwest part of Alabama. And again, keep in mind this runs through 6 a.m. Saturday. Then during the day Saturday, we have a risk of severe storms in a broad zone from Indianapolis down to the Gulf Coast. In Alabama, the standard slight risk, level 2 out of 5, from Birmingham south, north of Birmingham, a marginal risk, level 1 out of level 5. And a kind of a conditional threat here. We'll talk about this in just a second. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Big numbers for California and fairly wet down here in the southeastern states. But again, the, the numbers not as high as they were a couple of days ago because it looks like that uh, rain Monday might be a no-show. And we'll just have a round of showers tomorrow, maybe some storms Saturday. But rain amounts around one inch for the north, possibly in excess of two inches for the southeastern part of the state. And the tropical season wraps up tomorrow. The next time we'll see these graphics are in June of next year. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 12Z run valid tomorrow at noon. There's your complex trough off to the west going negative tilt. Down below that, a surface low forming southeast of Denver. And for Alabama, we'll have the chance of scattered rain showers during the day. Not going to rain all day, but a few passing showers are likely. The sky will be cloudy. The high in the 60s tomorrow. Now, here's Saturday. And again, we got a deep surface low that's located just northwest of Kansas City. Fairly removed from Alabama. And we're in the warm sector, the cold front uh, down along the Mississippi River. So obviously, we'll have a chance of showers and storms. Let's see if we can nail down the timing. This is the high-resolution NAM. The three-kilometer NAM. This is valid uh, Saturday at 3 a.m., the pre-dawn hours. And at that point, we'll see showers and storms increasing across the state. But at that point, there's really no instability. Saturday morning at 6 o'clock. Heavier storms really at that point over east and south Alabama. And by 9 o'clock, things really start to thin out. Uh, showers and thunderstorms most active over the eastern and southern counties of the state. And by noon, things are pretty much over for north Alabama. In Tennessee, this bodes well for the UAB uh, playoff game up in Murfreesboro. Uh, initially, it looked like that would be just a big old quagmire with rain and storms, but now it looks like the rain is going to be over in time for the kickoff. But uh, storms continue over South Alabama. And then by 6 o'clock Saturday evening, it's pretty much all over statewide. But oddly enough, that's when the instability values are highest. The deal is the dynamic support lifts away. And by the time the air becomes unstable, there's no uh, upward uh, mechanism to get the air rising. So it just looks a little out of phase, and this is the STP Saturday at 6 o'clock. So uh, it looks like now for Saturday, the main window for rain and storms, midnight until noon. And there's a chance we get away with a decent part of the afternoon dry for the northern half of the state. And Saturday night looks dry statewide. So for your outdoor plans, there's the deal. And again, I'd say the overall severe weather threat is fairly low at this point with this whole thing being out of phase. Now, Sunday, that features on by Sunday should be mild, partly sunny. 
uh, with a high in the low 70s. Really nice day. And then Monday, the GFS suggests we get the cold front through basically with no rain. Uh, Monday would feature a mixture of clouds and sunshine. We see temperatures beginning to fall. Uh, we might start the day around 60, falling through the 50s during the day with a pretty good north wind. Uh, so we'll kind of back off on that chance of rain Monday and lean toward a much drier scenario. And then Tuesday looks cold and dry. Uh, the sky will be partly sunny. We start the day around freezing. I'd say the high will be in the upper 40s. And Wednesday, 1032 high nosing in, sunny and cold. Most likely lows in the 20s, highs in the 40s. And here's a week from today, Thursday, the 6th of December. New trough coming into the southern part of California. But for us, it's a cold, dry air mass. Go a couple of days. This is Saturday the 8th, just for planning purposes. And understand this will probably change. But based on this run, that looks pretty wet with a surface low near Mobile. No severe weather, just a cool rain if this verifies. And then the following day, Sunday the 9th, the trough moves on out and the rain kicks on out. Now we start to turn colder again. We'll check the numbers coming off the European highs well up in the 60s. And again, I think we'll probably see low 70s on Saturday and Sunday. But notice by Tuesday of next week, the high drops to 49 and only 43 on Wednesday. And we stay pretty cold for the latter part of next week. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.